What's up everybody? Welcome to the Grow Family Network. I'm all up in these little clouds of trees, but I'm gonna get to a little bright spot. Um, today I wanna talk about real quick, like five minutes, I'll stop here to look like a little angel. Um, Self-sustainability is something that, when I get certain questions, I, I, I want to answer a certain way, but then now I'm kind of getting, as, as I'm getting older, it's kind of like I'm not even worried about how people take the way I say things. Uh, but self-sustainability is a myth. I know everybody's trying to achieve it. I know everybody's saying, you know, uh, grow more stuff. You'll be self-sustainable or self-sufficient. That's cool. But I do want you to understand that, that we are actually a part of a whole. Like it's not just you out in the world. Um, everything in life, look at my little dogs. <laughs> I need them too. Everything in life, group behavior, or um, having relationship is better than being alone. Just like in the garden, in economics, right? Group economics will get you way further in life than just saving money on your own. That's why a lot of your apartment complexes and hospitals, they're always purchased by groups of people. In gardening, I was looking at this scripture and and it's a, it's a scripture of mine that I lean on, especially in the garden. Uh, but 1 Corinthians 3, I believe it's verse 6 through 9. If you read those verses, it'll, it'll tell you. Um, one person plants, then one person waters. But it's God that gives the increase. And I want you to take that, take that serious because... It doesn't matter how much stuff I plant or how much stuff we plant. If, if we don't get that, that increase from God, if we don't get that protection from God, then this stuff won't grow. You ever wonder when you get online and, and you're having an awesome season and you're seeing somebody else, like I, I looked at pictures of people and I'm just saying to myself, man, I'm having a great year. Like 2020 has been a great year in the garden. And I look at other people's pictures and they're getting, I mean, pests are eating them crazy. And then, let me show you this. And then I turn around. And my garden is looking like this. Right? I mean, and it's, it's all around. I'm having success and having it early now that doesn't mean that doesn't mean at all i don't believe that that i can't up and and all this in tomorrow like i can get a freeze tonight you know hoping not but but that's what i think we don't take into account is there are factors and there are elements that are outside of our control that we need those things to come together just right for us and and that's where god comes into play we need it to we need it to happen um and we can't do anything about it that's where and that's why i say that the myth of self-sustainability has to put, has to be put away in the case of the faith now if you don't believe in anything beyond yourself then i understand i understand um but it, but if you believe in what i'm saying then it's time to take hold of that once again and and when i'm watching and i'm gonna be honest when i'm watching y'all post and other people's post about the problems they're having that's just more for me to pray about that's just more for me to say lord please don't let that happen to my tomato plant please don't let that happen to my squash i'm tired of this squash bug and beetle and then what happens when something you plant dies? That doesn't mean lose faith. Um, it just means pray harder and it means plant more. <laughs> That's one of the things you can never have enough of is plants and starts. Um, if something dies, don't even worry about it. That's a part of life, stuff dies. Somebody asked me, you know, what should I do? My 
I forgot what plant it was. My plant died. And all I can tell you is plant it again. What, what should I do if my tree dies? Plant another tree. Um, we had about 12 to 15 trees die. We're only in year three. And, and it, we took a hit, we took a hit, but we didn't lose hope, we didn't lose, we just was like, okay, well, um, you know, thank you for what, what was spared. And also it was a learning opportunity for us to learn what we can do more. And that's what spurned actually me coming up under this tree and starting this food forest is because of all the citrus trees I lost. So try to listen better. Uh, try to understand what your environment or God is trying to tell you um, because he's trying to help you have a better year he's trying to help you have a better season if you listen then you won't have to ask many questions thank you for watching the Grow Family Network and as always grow, grow, grow or let God grow it for you just plant and water He'll do the rest. Peace.